from 40 Below Fruity and this video is going to be about whether tea is something you can include in your raw diet. Because I know some of you are probably wondering whether tea is actually raw or whether it's healthy to drink tea. I don't think it's really a bad thing to put boiling water on herbs but if you are really neurotic and your tea has to be 100% raw then you can always sit your tea out in the sun. Obviously you're not going to be able to do that in the winter but in the summer you can make sun tea and that's a great option. You can put mint, you can put any kind of herb or even fruit pieces in it. But during the winter, I find tea, herbal tea, not caffeinated tea, we're not talking black tea or orange pico tea, I'm strictly talking about organic herbal teas here. So my favorite type of herbal tea to drink in the winter time is jasmine. I love the aroma, I love the comfort and feeling that sitting down with a cup of hot tea gives me. And it's a great replacement for something like hot chocolate or a replacement for coffee. You can even gather your own herbs in the summer to dry and then to use in your teas over the winter time. Now, the one time I suggest that you don't have tea, and this goes for any time of the year, is if you are craving it because you are used to putting some sort of sweetener in it to give you calories. I always make sure that I have tea because of the comfort and the warmth that it brings me, not because of any kind of calories that it would bring me. The reason I always make sure I'm carved up before I drink tea is because if you're not eating enough and then you go to drink tea and you're putting all this cream or sugar in it, that's not what your body needs, it's not what your body wants, you're drinking it as a way to get calories and I don't really think that's the way to do it. It's nice at night, it can help you sleep if you have a sleepy time tea, there's so many herbs you can use. Chamomile is also a really nice one, but my favorite way to drink tea is to have it with figs. I have these weird things that I do that are really bizarre that I just these habits and one of them is drinking tea and eating the best figs hands down the best figs you can buy these are from Costco they weren't here for the last couple of months they finally brought them back in thank god these are so incredibly delicious so is tea raw not technically but if you are so worried about eating raw that you're not gonna have tea I mean you're welcome to not have it if you don't want it I enjoy it for what it is you don't have to be 100% raw to the tea there's no rule book, there's no guidelines saying that raw is law, so if you want to have a tea, have some tea. If that is your biggest crutch, I wouldn't really worry about it, and it can be a great replacement for any kind of caffeinated drink. Or, if you're really not wanting to have tea and you also want a hot comforting drink, you can blend dates with hot water, cinnamon, nutmeg, things like that. It'll make almost like a hot chocolate, really delicious too, but if you're looking for something a little lighter, tea's a great option. So if you guys like this video, and if you like drinking tea, tell me what kind of teas you like. I love trying new kinds of tea. I'm like a tea connoisseur. So <laughs> let me know your favorites, and I will see you guys tomorrow.